Hey everyone, welcome to Mix It Up Art. Today we are going to be painting this impressionistic cat on a branch using tempera paints. To get started, you're going to get a sheet of white construction paper and I want you to hold it portrait style so it's longer up and down than it is side to side. Now I want you guys to sketch this out with a pencil, but I'm going to use a Sharpie so that you can see it better in the video. We're going to start by just drawing the shape of the head. So I'm going to go up towards the top of the paper somewhere in the middle and I'm going to draw a sideways oval. Then I'm going to add in the ears. And then for the body, I'm going to do another oval, this time going up and down. And depending on how fat or skinny you want your cat, you will make your oval fat or skinny. Then we can add in the tail, and you can make this curve however you want to. And now we're going to draw the tree branch. So you don't want to go all the way to the bottom. You want to go up a little bit. We're just going to draw a line that goes off the paper. And then leave a little bit of room. So that's one part of the tree branch. And then we'll draw the other part. So this one here, we're going to start at the bottom here, but not all the way at the bottom. And I'm going to curve it down, just like that. And then I'm going to go up a little bit. And for this one, I'm going to curve it up. And now we're ready to start painting. So you're going to be using a fairly fluffy paintbrush for this project. And the first thing that we're going to do is just paint the cat completely orange. And when you're painting this, the cat does not have to be painted perfectly. Then what you're going to do is basically wipe off the rest of the paint onto the tree, almost like you're using the tree like a napkin. So I don't really want to paint the tree. I just want to kind of swipe off the extra orange paint. Then without cleaning my brush, I'm going to get the black paint and I'm going to fill in the tree. So I'm going to start by going around the edges and then I'm going to make little strokes and fill in the different parts of the tree. I don't need to paint over the orange, but I do want to make sure that all of the paper is covered up. And I did cover up most of the orange, but you don't have to as long as you can't see the paper. Now what we're going to do is take that same black paint and we're just going to outline the cat. So I'm just going around the edges. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect, but you do want to make sure you cover up all the paper space between the cat and the outside. Now when I get to the head, I don't want to trace this line here. I just want to go around just the perimeter, just the outside. Now without cleaning off my paintbrush, I'm going to pick up some of that orange paint. And what I'm going to do is start by just kind of dabbing it onto the right side. So I'm going on the right side of the body. I'm going to go along the right side of the tail. And I'm going to follow this line a little bit along the right side of the head and the right side of the ears, just like that. Now again, without cleaning my paintbrush, I'm gonna get some more orange. And at this point, there should be a little bit less black that shows up, so I'm gonna fill in the middle. And I'm gonna touch up anything I feel like I wanna touch up. I'm gonna try to round it here at the head, so I'm going out and out, so I'm curving for the body. And then I am going to wash and dry my paintbrush. Now what I'm going to do is pick up some of the white paint and I'm going to dab this on just the right side. So I'm going to go along the right side of the tail as well and the right side of the head as well as the right side of the ears. And if you want to add in any decorations, like add in little spots or stripes, you can totally do that. So now I'm going to wash and dry my paintbrush again. I'm gonna pick up a little bit more of the orange and then just add in a few more accents here with the tree. So this is just gonna be little swipes of orange on the tree. So these are swipes that are going vertical up and down. And then for the branch, they're gonna go horizontal. And once again, I'll wash and dry my paintbrush. And we're gonna go back to that black and around the outside here, we're gonna add in dabs of the black, just like we did when we were adding in the color to the middle. We're gonna go all around the outside with black, just dabbing it on. 
And now without cleaning your paintbrush, you're gonna pick up some blue and you're gonna fill in the rest of the white space, dabbing it on with the blue. So this technique that we're using with dabbing the paintbrush is called stippling. So now we're gonna add in a little bit of highlights and shadows in the back. So I'm gonna pick up some of the white paint with the blue paint still on my paintbrush and I'm just going to kind of dab it into the blue. And then I'm gonna go back with a little bit more of the black. Again, the blue paint and white is still on my paintbrush and I'm just going to add in a little bit of shadows just to kind of blend everything together. And then I wanna go over top of this black line just a little bit to blend that black into the sky so that everything is kind of just blended together, giving it that impressionistic style. Also, if as the paint dries, you notice that some of the shadows aren't as dark as you want them or some of the light isn't as light as you want it, you can always go back and touch it up. Just make sure you clean your brush really well if you're going back to the orange and white. All right, so that's all there is to our impressionistic cat on a branch. If you wanna leave me a comment or tweet me a picture of your artwork, don't forget to follow me on Mix It Up Art, and as always, have fun.